Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be giving some suggestions on how to refine your research question for your upcoming sociology presentation, and also discussing how to use keywords to find library resources. At this point in the semester, you should already have your research question finished and approved by Professor Brutlag. But from my experience working in his classes, I know that this isn't always the case. So if you haven't had your research question approved yet, fear not. This video is intended to help you. Here is the format for your research question. How does a person or behavior negatively or positively influence a person or behavior, leading to an outcome of influence, resulting in a social or behavioral change? Here, you are defining four separate variables and will conduct research on how they are related, then report your findings in your presentation. This is a challenging assignment, but my recommendation is to choose a topic that you're interested in or passionate about so you can learn something useful in the process. This is an example of an approved research question that I created for this class. How does selfie culture negatively influence the self-esteem of teenage girls leading to an increase in body dysmorphia resulting in higher rates of depression eating disorders, and suicide among young women in the United States. So the variables that I will attempt to connect in my research are selfie culture, the self-esteem of teenage girls, body dysmorphia, and rates of depression, eating disorders, and suicide among young women in the United States. Here I've defined my topics, selfie culture, self-esteem, body dysmorphia, depression, eating disorders, and suicide, along with a population of people and a location that is affected, which in this case is teenage girls or young women in the United States. So once you have a solid research question, it's time to start thinking about resources such as ebooks and scholarly articles. The trick to finding good resources is making a list of keywords that describe your topics. Keywords include the main ideas of your topic, along with words that are similar, also known as synonyms. You can combine keywords in our library databases or catalog to find the most relevant sources available. In the Find Books and Articles tabs, you will also find more information on how this is done. Here's a list of relevant keywords that I've extracted from my research question. Again, we have the topics of selfie culture, self-esteem, etc., along with our population and a defined location. I find that keeping a list like this is very helpful when you're searching for resources. Another thing to keep in mind are synonyms, which again are terms that are similar or interchangeable with our keywords. For the term selfie culture, I might have problems finding a lot of information, so it would be wise to broaden my search to use the term selfies or broader still, social media, or maybe something more specific if you like, such as Instagram. For the term body dysmorphia, I learned in my research that the more technical medical term is body dysmorphic disorder, or BBD, or could be commonly referred to as weight issues. As you conduct research on your topics and learn new terminology, I would recommend adding these synonyms to your list of keywords. Okay, it's important to remember that, even with great keywords and an improved research question, you won't always find an article that's exactly on your topic. Chances are, you're not going to find the exact information that you're looking for right away. This is going to take some time and effort on your part. You also might find that trying different combinations of keywords that you will find articles similar to your topic, which you can still use when answering your research question. This is a difficult process, but take your time, write down your findings, and whatever you do, don't give up. If you're stuck with your research question or having difficulty finding resources, know that librarians are here to help you. The library location on campus is currently closed, but you can text or chat with a librarian during regular business hours. You can also email me directly at beyoung at riohondo.edu. I will be more than happy to assist you. Thanks for watching.